All right, so now I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the Truffly Made Universal Depositor. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up your container. It looks like this. You're gonna to wanna to turn it upside down to where these extended portions are facing up. When your machine is taken apart, you're going to have uh, several pieces. So first you'll have these pistons, which will have the nozzle part disconnected from it. You're going to have these that cover uh, each nozzle slot, silver ball bearings, which go right here, and nozzle plugs. And then these are also for your pistons. So before you start setting up your machine, you're gonna wanna make sure that everything is well oiled. This machine has a lot of gaskets, these little rubber gaskets that if they're not properly oiled, it'll be really hard to get these pieces on and off, and there's also potential for it to break. So I usually just use some pan spray, spray everything down, just make sure everything's all greased up really good before you start putting anything together. It's also important to just make sure that everything is clean and dry in between uses. So the first thing you wanna do is put these ball bearings on your container. So there's one for every slot, there should be eight. So you just turn the container upside down and set your ball bearings on it. Next thing you wanna do is cover the ball bearings with these caps. So then you're gonna twist those on every slot. Okay, so once you have that part done, the second thing you're gonna do is set up your pistons. <clears throat> so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that these are all greased. And you're gonna put your nozzles on. The nozzle just slides onto the front of this piece like this. And you're gonna twist it to where it faces opposite from this hole. So it's gonna look like this. So, and then what you wanna do is you take this and you put this in the piston hole. Gasket side first into there. And then you're gonna put your nozzle plugs on. So these go right onto the front here after you put your nozzle on. So those just twist on just like that to the front. And you'll notice on the end of each piston there is, it won't stick if it's greased, a little notch here. This little notch rests in this part of the depositor and that's what pulls the piston back and forward using this lever. So you wanna make sure that this is connected to this. When you line up your depositor, it's gonna, de where you place these is gonna depend on what kind of mold you have. So there's these little grooves in each nozzle. The piston is going to set the grooves right against these posts. So it slides in just like that. I'll do it for you again, just like that. Then you wanna pull up just slightly, pull back on the back of the piston until you feel it snap into place with this back bar. So pull out and snap it in place there. To check that it's connected properly, you're just gonna pull down on this lever and make sure that the piston is moving back and forth. If it's not connected, then nothing will come out of this nozzle. Do this part. Mm -hmm. It's very important that the whole side is up on the depositor. If you try to do it the other way, you'll notice it won't go in. Just flip it up it's upside down again. So these already have their nozzles on. I'm just gonna continue going down the line and setting these pistons in place. So for this one, you don't really wanna put it there because it's not gonna reach either cavity. It's sort of in between. So I'm gonna move it over to this space. Slide it into the grooves there and then just kinda of check your position against your mold and make sure that it's going to hit where you want it to hit. That looks good. So I'm gonna pull back on the piston. Snap into place snap into place. So to assemble your piston again, 
it will, it will look just like this when you take the machine apart. You take this main part of your piston. First thing you're going to do is put your nozzle on. That goes on, slides on just like that. Make sure the nozzle opening is pointed down away from the hole. So opposite of that. The next thing you want to do is put your plug in. So sometimes you'll want to take, these will come out too, and you can clean these and then put that back in there just like that. I'll show you one more time. This is the front of the plug. This is the back. This piece goes right in there. Like that. And that piece goes into the front of the nozzle. Like that. This piece goes in gasket side first. Just like that. And goes on to the machine. Slide right into those grooves right there. Pull the piston back. Connect to the base and make sure you hear that click. And then pull down on the handle to just make sure that all the pistons are properly connected. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is attach your container to your nozzles. Make sure that these are all facing upright. Container goes short side in the front. So you can see there's a short flat side in the front and there's a long slanted side in the back. There's also these little grooves right here, a little flat edge on the back of the machine. That's gonna slide in right underneath these two screws. So what you wanna do is position your machine, your container, right up against those screws like that. And then what you're gonna do is slam down really hard on the front of the machine. Don't worry, you're not gonna break it. If you don't get a tight seal, then you're gonna have hot candy and liquid coming out of between here and the, the nozzle opening. So you wanna just really give it some force and make sure it connects like that. If it's not connected right for some reason, you pull up on these two levers right here. So pull towards you on these levers and push back on the container with your thumbs. Then you can reposition yourself and your nozzles, make sure that everything's good and tight and connect again if you have any leaks. Even if there's product in the machine, those ball bearings that are in there are going to keep liquid from coming out when you pull, the, when you pull up on the machine. So you can do this even with gummy in the machine. Okay, so make sure everything is tight. Good, like that. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is turn, put the heaters on. So to heat this container, it has four heater, heating panels, two on the side and one in the front and one in the back. So it's easiest to start with the back piece first. That's this biggest, this big piece right here. And you're gonna wanna slide it in at like an angle because the container is like at an angle. So you slide the back piece in and you kind of hold that on. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is put the front piece on. There is a lip right here on the front of this base. What you're gonna wanna do is slide that lip up onto the machine and it will hold itself in place like that. So just slide that lip right onto this top ledge, okay? Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out which piece is for which side. So the side pieces, they have sort of a, a fluted edge in the front and a closed edge on the back. So that's how you know which, which one is the front and which one is the back. Obviously, this will be the left side because it's fluted in the front. It wouldn't fit on that side, okay? So that means this piece is for the left side. What you wanna do is take this back piece that has the crimped edge, slide it up against the machine, back side first, and then you're gonna pull this fluted edge forward as far as you possibly can and snap it on. Sometimes it sticks, there you go. Just like that. Okay, so then once you have the back and the front and the side on, this piece is a lot easier and I'll go over it with you again. 
So this curled edge that goes on the back, fluted edge on the front, pull forward as far as you possibly can, and then push, pull this up over there, and push forward until it locks in place. So that's how you install the heating panels. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up your quick connects. So there are three of these quick connects and each one has a different pattern. This one has three, this one has six, and this one has four. The front of the machine has four, so you just find which one has four. There's a little red dot right here on the front. You're gonna line that red dot up with the dot on this quick connect. Pull back on the quick connect, push forward and let go. Now it's in place. Then we're gonna do the back of the container. So there's another port in the back. Thing you're going to want to do on this machine is turn on the nozzles. So this is the warmer for the nozzles and it just slides over the nozzles like this. Just like that. And then we should have one quick connect left with six prongs. So again, we're gonna line that up here on our machine, connect red dot to red dot, pull back, push it on and let go. Just make sure that there's nothing that really holds this on here, so you just kind of push it into place. If, if it comes forward, just push it back again. Okay, so then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you start making your gummies is turn on your container and get it warmed up. So you'll just push this button here on the front to turn the depositor on. Here it says you want to preheat 30 minutes before use. Don't turn this machine on any more than 30 minutes before use. If you turn it on with no product in it and it not being used, the plastic plugs in the front of these nozzles will melt. So if you are going to leave it on, then leave the heater off or just turn it on 30 minutes before you're ready to use it so that it gets warmed up. Okay, so this front display is the nozzles, the nozzle temperature, and this is the container, container temperature. So I usually set my nozzles and my container at the same temperature. For this type of gummy, we wanna do 203 degrees. This button here turns the temperature up, this button turns the temperature down. Those are really the only two buttons you're gonna need to use on this machine. So we're gonna go down to 203 on the nozzles and then down to 203 on the container. Okay, you don't need to push enter or anything, just let it go and it will sit at that temperature. Put the lid on the machine so that as it warms up, the heat stays contained. And that's it, that's the truffle made universal depositor tutorial.